Welcome to the Designs for Vision troubleshooting page. With this little video what we're doing is how to merge patients and how to delete tests. So for example on your RS3000 if you have a patient which you have scanned um, under the incorrect name you are able to then merge that patient and get the files into the correct scan. For example here we have a record with no name however we have at the same age, same date of birth. So this patient with their scans which are here should have been scanned under this patient through here. So what we can do then is we find the patient, if we go back, these are scanned incorrectly so what we can do is select all of these scans by simply clicking on them. You'll notice the scans are selected have the green area around them. What we will do then is delete the scans. So we'll go up here to edit, shift, control, delete it will ask me, are you sure you want to send these to the Recycle Manager? Now the Recycle Manager is a little system of organising deleted files. So even though we are deleting, we will still have access to them. Which is reassuring to know. So I'll select yes. I will notice now that these are all gone. I'll then go back to my patient list and will notice that this record with no name now has no tests within it. I then select the patient that I want to send those tests to for in this example is this patient here, test test. I will open them up and I'll see there are three tests here already. To get those deleted tests into this patient I need to go into the Recycle Manager which is here under the view. I select Recycle and the tests that I have just deleted are all here within the Recycle Manager. What I will do then now is select those tests either individually or by hitting All Select you will notice that the patient I had highlighted previously to coming in, test test, is now selected. Test test is the patient we want to send it to. So these selected patients, I will hit send to patient. And you'll see that this button allows us to register the data to the current patient. It will say, are you sure you want to select this, send this to this patient? I select yes. The computer will then process that request. Depending on the number of tests you have selected, um, the more tests, the longer the time this takes. And you just need to bear with it while it does this calculation. As each of these high definition scans has quite a lot of data. We'll now see that the Recycle Manager is empty. If I then return and I open up Patient Test Test, you'll see that not only are the three disk maps there, all the scans are now there within this patient. So there is already. To avoid confusion, I can then delete this empty patient who has no tests by selecting them up to edit, delete. Are you sure you wish to delete the selected data? Yes, that patient has now been deleted and we are left with the records that we need all correct. Hopefully this will allow you to merge patients or if you accidentally delete patients you are able to then go into the recycling manager and bring those same tests back. Thank you for your attention. Welcome to the DFE troubleshooting page on how to set combination scans for your RS3000 OCT. To get into the combo settings first you need to get into the capture screen so just hit OCT capture. The system will then start up and you should hear the actual headset start to move around. You have Different, two different release modes with the RS3000. You have the single mode where you will just perform each one of these scans and you have the combo mode which is this button here. Pressing the combo mode you can set up different titles so for this one for example macular disease it will perform a right macular line and then mo immediately move on to a right macular multi and then on to a right macular left. Moving the machine to the left eye it will automatically move over to the left eye as well. T to set these Go to setting and there will be the combo release edit. If this is greyed out and you are unable to click it, you need to stop the scan by hitting the scan stop button. Back to the setting menu and the menu should then be able to be pressed. These are your different combinations that you have set up. If you wish to delete um, a particular map, simply click the map, hit the red button and that will delete it out. If you wish to delete an entire section, simply click the title delete that it will ask you are you sure you want to delete this and click yes it is gone. So to change the scans you can simply delete them. 
to add a scan select on the new pattern this will then highlight and you can go to this side and select what scan you want and then you can select the actual settings of the scan so the number of A scans is just for your resolution and the number of times each B scan is through and your different settings for how you want the scan to be apply that and that is done to add a new type of combination simply select the new title so that you can type call it whatever you want it to be so for example I'm adding in a screening so if I don't want to scan just the macula or just the disc the screening sc scan will give me a macula and a glaucoma assessment type in screening or whatever you want to call it hit enter it will then present you with a list of map options so the first scan I might want to do may be a macula map or macula line I want a nice high definition, high definition macula line so I'm going to up the settings as high as possible the next pattern will be a macula map Again, setting the settings I want. And finally for screening, because I want to examine both the macula and the disc, I will do a disc map again, setting the settings I want. Hit apply and OK. And you'll see over here now that I have saved those settings. The machine will then start again to access those combination scans. I can hit combo and the different scans that I've chosen are here and available.